Some things never change. Okay. Okay. Well, she loves you, Mark. I don't blame her. You okay. can be your friend. I don't need any more. <laughs> I am having a heck of a time. This thing is not working. morning it's Wednesday it's feeling a whole lot like spring despite the lid on my head no lambs today we haven't had any lambs since Sunday so I'm thinking we are now totally into our scheduled breeding group it's very very common to have lambs five to seven days before the actual lambing date starts and this lambing date is starting on the 15th and today I believe is the 11th or 10th 10th? 10th maybe. They don't look too uh, too crazy excited but there's lots of blooming going on. So you know pink udders, fur udders and uh, they're getting a bit loose in the caboose if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to see if I can convince Mark to, I have a tea post over on that far side that uh, has been broke for like over a year. I bought a new one a, a few, oh, a month or so ago, and I wanna get that in. I haven't been able to do it because the litter's been high enough that uh, it was covering the cement curb, that, like, that cement curb. So I think he is gonna help me this morning because I think he's got a pretty full day with trucks coming and going, uh, loading up with corn. So I'm gonna grab him and Jess this morning and do that. So here's the, uh, the old tea post just came out. We have them kind of lagged in here with kind of anchor, cement anchor bolts. And it looks like it's just, I think the bottom just rusted out. No. Cinnamon, no. Here, why don't you just say hi to everybody? Cinnamon, be brat. So yeah, this bottom plate is this. It's just, I think this weld just came off this. So we'll take this off and if we can if we can fix it, we will. Some things never change. Don't eat my hair. Don't eat my hair. <laughs> I kind of want to put her in here and see what she'll do. She doesn't have a great reputation with these you lambs. <laughs> She's had a few close encounters. Hey? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, see? Get me out of here. Oh. Eating her booger. Yummy. Is that cinnamon? Yeah. <laughs> One cinnamon met Lucy. <laughs> She's petrified. <laughs> well, Lu yeah, Cinnamon's not scared. No, Lucy is. Aww, that's <laughs> nice. Good girl, Cinnamon. Maybe Cinnamon remembers you. You guys had a little yeah, we had thing a little, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> for a minute. For a, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> she just loves her. Her tail was wagging. Is it? It was. There it goes. <laughs> this is like, okay, this is a lot now. <laughs> Can't get enough of Lucy. Best friends. She's so nice, but like she's gentle. Yeah. Lucy. <laughs> the tail is like wagging. <laughs> this is the greatest.
just nomming on her ear. You're okay, Lucy. You're okay. You want out? <laughs> what have I doing? <laughs> oh, no. He wants to be your friend, Lucy. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, well, that's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Cinnamon's like, give me my dog. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I think we found some new friends. <laughs> she still doesn't know what to think about it. Oh my god. <laughs> she loves you, Mark. I don't blame her. Okay. You can get your friend, I don't need any more. <laughs> can you go get an empty feed bag? You're gonna what? have to try to protect this stuff, I em gotta grind it. Okay, we have our tea post. This took a little longer than uh, originally planned. We used these anchor bolts, and Mark had them tightened out. And then we lifted the nut off, and we lost the bolt because we didn't have it tightened enough. So then, on this side, you can see we had to... Uh, we had to put another one in the in the corner because this sunk down and we couldn't retrieve it. We did retrieve this one, but anyways, it is here. The only thing is they went and changed these. My T posts. Uh, the tab is way down here, and theirs is way up here. Anyways, it it's fine because they did give me uh, a few of these extra longer rods. Thank goodness, because uh, my normal rods would never fit. They go to like just barely past that. And all they have to do is lift that and those would pop off. So thankfully they came with the longer rods, but I'm not sure why they changed this. Anyway, it works and it's fixed and it's been a long time coming. I just finished lunch and ran into the office and I got my chlamydia for my ewe lambs. So this is a program I've been on. If you're new to the channel, I'm sorry for those who've been here. Uh, this is a program I've been on since probably 2016, I think, or 2016, I believe, in all my ewe lambs. So all my ewe lambs get a chlamydia vaccine uh, prior to breeding. Uh, these have to be three weeks apart, so I tr typically try to do the first one a month before I plan on breeding, and then the second one right before uh, the breeding happens. So that's this, and this is a new brand. Interesting that it's called Inmeva. That was kind of ironic. And I ordered this Monday and it's already here. It's my resuscitator, so my lamb resuscitator. I'm gonna do an unboxing with you guys since uh, you guys have been begging me to get a uh, something like this for a long time. And I always thought you meant the like the bulb thing and, and I've never got those to work. I've tried them before I went to the drugstore and got them and only all it ever did was clear out like a, the nose and the mouth. I need to get down here and supposedly this thing, I'm gonna watch the YouTube video, um, so I'll, I'll keep you posted with this, but supposedly this thing sucks out from the lung, sucks out the fluid and actually blows in back, blows and actually blows air back in, but we'll see if that actually happens or not. Look, it comes in a case. It's exciting. This actually does feel like a bona fide YouTube unboxing. All right, let's see what we got in here. This is really pretty. It came with no instructions. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's kind of instructions right on the tube though. Oh my goodness, it's like literally right on the lamb's mouth, like a legit <laughs> oxygen mask. That's awesome. All right, so you guys stay tuned for the slamming group because you'll be uh, learning lots. So one must be for the sucking and one must be for the blowing. All right, I'm gonna run in, grab those lambs, get them in the handling system, and uh, vaccinate these guys. I believe this is sub-Q? Sub-Q, two mils. Supposedly a bottle does 25 doses, so I'm assuming a, tw a bottle is 50 mils. Yep, so a bottle does 25 U's. And it's two mils per dose, and I think that's any time you use it. Chlamydia, knock on wood, knock on all the wood, hasn't really been haunting me as much as it did in the past since I've started on this, on this injection uh, their first year before they have their first lamb. All right, enough of me rambling.
Okay. I have my Gallagher all set up. So uh, this group, I just named it June You Lamb Chlamydia. Uh, I do use this auto doser and I'll change the needle every few U's when it, uh, well, typically when it, it gets dull and then it doesn't go in very good. So that's when I change it out. Uh, there's only like 25 in this group, maybe. So I, I might even get away with not even having to change it. Uh, but yeah, this is, the, this is the stuff. I think I already showed you that. So we're gonna get going here. I'm gonna do it sub Q up in their neck, kind of pinch, kind of get it out like this. And then it, it's like a tent. And then I um, inject the two mils that way. I'll needle them all. And then I'm gonna scan them with the Gallagher. And then all their information is gonna go into the Gallagher as per usual. Good tune. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just gonna let them go back through the alley and back into their pen. So this is the wool she lost from the, the fever that she had with when she went down with listeriosis. But look how good she looks. Hi, it's your turn. Yeah. Another needle. She's probably hating me right now. Okay, here we go. Always check your dosage. I had only one mil, so I gotta run these guys in again. Ooh, okay, okay, I brought them back in. Thank God I caught it in the first six and not the first 25. <laughs> I am having a heck of a time. This thing is not working. It's like sucking air. So I'm gonna go back to the old syringe. I don't want to do this a third time. Syringe. Okay, we're gonna do our old school.
ready for use. And we got a little bit left, so we must have done it right. Hey Zinni, what are you doing? Want your pen back? Alright, cinnamon. Let's talk about this thing outside right now. She knows I'm talking about her. Kinsey has been amazing at pushing the sheep. So she helps me when I'm moving the sheep from here to the handling system and from the handling system back. But as I edit video after video of being around that handling system, she falls apart at that handling system. And I quite often am in, on such a mission and so focused that I don't pay attention to her. And unless I have her tied up, she does more harm there than good. She just doesn't want those sheep to get past her, which is totally what these, I think what these dogs are bred to be. Like they, they want to herd them to you. Um, now she's weird because she'll help push, but yet when I'm done with them and I want them to go away again, she, she doesn't like that. Like when they're stopped at a barrier, she wants to keep them stopped. So I think that's probably good in some cases, but, um, yeah, I, I don't, she nips at them. Um, so now I just, I help, I use her for the skills she's good at. So, um, I love it when she helps me push because it's, it's just, it, it's so much easier for me that way. But once they're in the handling system and I have to do my thing, she gets underneath, she nips at their feet. I just, she causes a lot of stress at that handling system. And that's not the point of a handling system. A handling system is put in place to be less stressful for me. Like that's why I don't work with Mark at the handling system because it's too much stress. <laughs> So I do not want a dog that is creating stress for me because I have to have, the, uh, I have eyes at the back of my head and also causes stress for these animals. I want them very calm going into that handling system. I don't want them to always think there's going to be stress there. So she, she just falls apart at the handling system. She's over three. I highly doubt I can train that into her. Um, everyone just says, just tie her up. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to tie her up, I'm going to kick her out because I'm going to forget or I'm not going to find the collar or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, so we have a system, but she hates it, <laughs> but, uh, she is a good, she is a good dog. She just, I just, I get so angry, um, when I'm editing and I can see what she's doing to these sheep behind my back. And I'm sure if I just let the camera roll and let you guys see it all, you would be, you would just, you would be so upset too. So we have figured out our system and that's the way it's going to be, I guess. Um, maybe when she's older she'll calm down, but I doubt it. So I'm going to give these guys their pen here.
Alright, you first. Come here, little monkey. Bottle baby. It's your turn. Just barely drink any anyway. Yeah, you know, there is something about bottle feeding lambs and getting in, the, in there every day with lambs. They, uh, they really do bond with you, which is kind of crazy. It's really good for the heart. Hey. You guys will be hard to move, though, when I want you to move because you won't be scared of me. There's that. All right, guys. I'm hungry. You guys have a good day. Surprise. Wow. You got the rat in? Yeah. Holy moly. I wish I had enough paint to do some of these parts, but. It's kind of cool coming in here like once a day at the end of the day. Wow. This is kind of awesome. So, is this all new? All no, I stuff? painted it with muffler paint so it should stay black. Wow. Was it I, black before? Yeah, it was supposed to be. High temperature paint. Got it. Wowzer. You almost know what you're doing. Dangerous is what I am. Know enough to be dangerous. That's all you gotta do.